come our project seemed to get slow when we started to increase this? Well, if we look at the next project, this feels very fluid and very quick, even though it's doing a lot of sampling and very small sampling as well. So how do we get our numbers above three and four? Well, the issue that we have is actually to do with this copy. So if we look at what copy actually does, it can take an image and then kind of replace it pixel by pixel. So the issue that we have is when we're taking a lot of these kind of pixels and kind of cloning them again and again, it kind of starts to get slower and slower and slower the more that we do. So if we go from three times three, which is nine, to 12 times 12, which is 144, there's a lot of things it needs to do. So how do we make this speed up? Well, it is an alternative, which is a lot quicker. So if I go back to reference, I can go down to rendering and I've got things like create graphics. If I click create graphics, what's it suggesting here? Well, here it suggests just to draw an image. So how do we actually use image? So if I go and type in image and click here, this will just draw this image as it should do. Now, if I scroll down by default, it will just have image at X and Y. But in here, there's a lot of things I can actually add in. There's actually nine things in total that I can do. So what happens if I just switch to copy to image? So in here, I'm just gonna quickly change copy to image. And this will mess up, so it will look a lot different. And the reason for that is image has different parameters in here than something like copy does. So if I quickly just go back to copy, we'll see in copy it has a source of these and then the destination. Whereas with image, if I just go back, where is it? Image has the other way around. It has the destination and then the source. So we kind of want to do it the opposite way around. I don't know why they're different. I think they should be the same personally, but what we can do is actually just switch this around. So the first four numbers in here need to be the last four numbers now. We need to switch this around. So I'm going to take these four out. So just watch out for your uh, commas in here as well. So in here, I've got a comma, then X. So then at the end, I'm going to put this in as the last four numbers. Now this now should look the same as it did previously, but now it means that we can actually up these numbers a lot more and do 12 and 12, and then I can change this number to 25, let's say, and what we'll get is something a lot quicker, and it renders a lot more quicker than it previously did. Maybe that should be 50 actually, to make it a little bit bigger. There we go, we've got a lot more things in here. So just by changing copy to image, and changing some of these values around, it actually fixes how this works and kind of adds a lot of speed improvements very, very quickly.